just from the name itself, right? We went very left field here with the name of the platform. So we wanted to make sure that Yay didn't sound like another technology company because we had a long, hard think about it. You know, a lot of Web3 projects, they really mm -hmm. struggle to get mainstream adoption. Even just from the name itself, you know, you're telling people that you're working with, you know, a technology company or like a cryptocurrency company. Mm -hmm. People don't want to hear about tokens, but the platform itself, we wanted to make it super lifestyle. We wanted to make it relatable to everyone. The name itself was something we deliberated over a, a number of weeks. If you remember, actually, we went through a couple of iterations in terms of like our rebranding exercise for various different reasons, like our previous attempts didn't kind of push through. Yep. Um, we ended up with the Yay name based on consultation with like a lot of brand consultants that are like internationally right. renowned, like people that run really big branding campaigns for some of the biggest names in the world. And so these guys were helping us to find our true identity and what the product actually resembled, how it was going to be adopted by those people. The name itself was like, we're thinking, yay, lifestyle. We're thinking, yay, Chinese, right? Which are basically yeah. the NFT digital collectibles that we're offering. And then also, yay, wearables or, or memorabilia or merch. It, it was so compatible with all the ideas that we were thinking about and all the initiatives that we're working on right now that it really worked really well. Yeah, it was really out okay. of the box. It was something that we had to really deliberate on in terms of like a product name. It's really helped us to find better way to communicate what we're trying to do for community owners at scale and for the regular person.